Oh wow, there's some massive clouds coming over with rain. I've just come out for a, to put a few more miles on the on the 690, and there's big rain clouds coming. I thought spring was here. I thought for a minute spring was here, and my glasses are broken. Oh Jesus! So I've done some emergency repairs with a pin. <laughs> <laughs> Normally when I'm riding, I wear uh, um, oh, ball bags. So today I'm out on the 690, I'm just putting a few more miles on it really and I just thought I'd bring the cameras along. I've actually got a new camera, I've got the new Insta 361R which is the new kid on the block. I've got the 1X on the helmet, I'm just trying some new positions for, for cameras really as part of this ride and to see what the 1R is like. So I've got two 360 cameras out with me today. So really, <laughs> I guess really this is a, just a little bit of an update video to tell you what's going on with things. I've got a new set of leathers as well. Look at my beautiful day and easy leathers. I wanted some for a big trip I've got planned. So I'll tell you a bit about that in a minute. But uh, but yeah, it's, it's the end, it's the middle of March. We've had some terrible, terrible weather. And we've just been forecast for the next couple of weeks a bit more dry, a bit more sunny weather. So I thought it was going to start today, but looking at that cloud, that is rain coming out of that. It won't show on the GoPro, but that is rain. So we are run from that. <laughs> I tell you what, I get my new leathers dirty. And I'll tell you about what's going on, what's happening, what bikes we've got coming in, and about a big European. Well, hopefully it will happen. Who knows with the coronavirus whether the country will be locked down by the time I want to go there so it could be a write-off in which case I'm going to be absolutely gutted so uh, yeah I know all the coronavirus thing that's going around at the moment oh, the media is making a big deal of it I don't know really how how serious this really is is the media just hyping it all up or is there a real risk I know the older people are the people who are really at risk. I mean, that the chances of dying if you're young and healthy or, or, or middle-aged and healthy is relatively low, sort of three, well, it's, it's sort of 98% chance you will survive. It's, it's the old and infirm who have really got to watch out. But everyone has to be careful because we can't spread it to the old, old gits, you see. My mum is just in hospital at the moment having a new hip. So I'm going to be seeing her a lot looking after her while she's... Uh, recovering and I don't want to give a coronavirus so we've got to be a little bit careful and I didn't even come out to talk about coronavirus we're talking about bike stuff so the 690 she currently has 268 miles completed out of the 600 I need to do so when this gets close to 600 about I'm going to get to about 500 I'm taking this back to KTM at the end of March, I think it's the 30th of March, I've got this booked in to go back to KTM. They're gonna, I'm gonna leave it with them because I'm taking away the new Super Duke R. <laughs> the Super Duke 3 I have got for two weeks at the end of March. So I'm gonna be doing a fair few videos of the new Super Duke 3. It's a bike which is obviously very close to my heart. I had a, a, I had a Super Duke 1. I love the Super Duke 2. The Super Duke 3 is, a, is an evolution, so I'm really excited about that and there'll be a few videos on the Super Duke 3. When I take the Super Duke back, we're actually doing a video at KTM on setting your suspension up, setting your sag, changing your suspension into a more sporty mode. So what they've actually agreed to do is we're going to, because I'm, I'm too heavy for this bike in its standard suspension setup. So they've asked me how much I weigh and we're going to actually change the springs on this, configure it all for my weight, set the sag up and get this bike spot on. So we're going to do a whole video about doing that. I've even got a little interview lined up with the, with the head of white power. So I'm going to be doing my little, uh, little interview piece, only very briefly. It's still going to be quite a laid back video, but there will be a little interview with the, with the head of white power. Not white power, WP. <laughs> we're not going to speak to some racist. 
I'm also going to be borrowing, not next week, but the week after, the ZH2. Wheels Motorcycles have their demo, so they're going to be dropping that down to me, hopefully for a week or so. So I, can, I will have, be having that just before I get the Super Duke 3. So I, sh I may even have an overlap of those bikes. I may be able to do a ZH2 versus a Super Duke 3 video. But if I can't do that, I would have borrowed them in very close succession. So I'm going to give you the lowdown on each of those bikes and exactly how they differ and which one I prefer. I will stick my neck out on that and tell you which one out of the two bikes I would buy. I will also do a comparison between my H2, the real full fat H2, and the Z H2. I'll let you know how they differ. Obviously they ride in different riding positions, but how does that, how does the engine differ? How does the power delivery differ? So I think that'd be quite interesting. A comparison between the real H2 and the ZH2, and I'm itching to get my H2 out. I think the weather's almost there now for a little blat on that with all its new aero package. <laughs> it is, uh, it's gonna be, it looks incredible that bike. I can't wait to get out and ride it. I really can't. So that's to come. As I mentioned, Insta360 enjoyed my 1X review, which I've got on the top there so much. They sent me the 1R to review. Now this is a really interesting camera because not only is it a 360 camera, it can be a regular action camera. It's all modular, it all comes apart. That breaks down into three pieces and you basically put a different lens on it. It's all very clever. And uh, I'm itching to, 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 to get, I've been itching to try one for a while and they've agreed to send me one. So I'm absolutely over the moon about that. So I'm gonna bring a review video of that once I've used it for a little while. It also has a normal mic adapter, so you can plug in, a, so it might be a great vlogging camera because you can just plug in an external microphone in just a little micro USB adapter, so you've not got that massive adapter like you have on the GoPro. So that could be the new, I haven't got as far as testing it as the vlogging setup, but certainly as a 360, it performs as well, if not better, than the One X. The colour correction, I think, is slightly better on it, but it's also got a lens you can plug in, so it's not a 360. It's also got another lens you can buy, which is like a one-inch sensor, so a full-on one-inch sensor, so almost like a proper DSLR type performance, so I may get that extra lens later and test that out as well. So that'd be a perfect little vlogging camera. So this little thing, could end up being able to do everything. Let's see. Hang it in, oh, it, it <laughs> oh yeah, it handles this. I can't wait to get it around Brands Hatch. I'm gonna book a Brands Hatch track day shortly. As soon as the weather turns, I wanna get it on Brands Hatch. I'll probably on the indie circuit, see how it handles in anger. I mean, I've taken it, I've taken one of these around Snetterton before, and it was amazing, but Snetterton's massive. It's way too big a track for one of these, really. But it was such fun. Brands Hatch Indy, oh, it's gonna be incredible. So if the whole of Europe isn't completely shut down, at the beginning of July, I've planned a fantastic trip to Spain, to the Picos. Me and Womble are gonna be taking the new S1000RR, also the new Fireblade SP, the brand new one, courtesy of Wheels again. Wheels are lending me that and allowing us to take that to Spain. So <laughs> Wheels, that is incredible. They've sorted out all their insurance so we can both ride it. We can do a full comparison between the double R and the triple R. Oh, Battle of the R's. That's the name of the video. Battle of the R's, the double R versus the triple R. <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant. That's what the video is called. But I'm really looking forward to trying the new blade. I'll probably try it and do a review of it as soon as wheels have one in stock. But it's just going to be a comparison between those two bikes. Which one is better to do a bit of touring on? I think the answer is probably going to be the BMW because the blade is all looking at those early reviews of that bike. It's very much a track focused weapon. So what's it going to be like with a bit of luggage on it? <laughs> That'll be interesting. We're going to go blasting around the Picos, Brittany ferries, down on the ferry, back on the ferry, but then we're going to have a central point in the Picos area and then head out each day, do some really good video, really good comparison between the two bikes on the beautiful Spanish roads. So I'm, I'm so excited about that. I'm just praying that the whole of Spain, the whole of Europe isn't shut down or still shut down by the beginning of July. Let's pray 
the virus situation improves. Uh, what else have I got coming? I'm obviously going to be reviewing a few more of the Triumphs as well. The Thruxton RS will be with me very soon, so that'll probably be the next Triumph. The next bike I'm probably reviewing will be the Thruxton RS, and I had a look at it yesterday at Destination Triumph, and it looks beautiful. Polished like top the oak. It looks incredible, so I'm really looking forward to getting on that giving that a good test and that should be when we got some decent weather so we'll be able to give it a ch proper chuck around and see exactly what it handles like can't wait for that also i want to buy the big 1200 scrambler because i've heard that that is very much like a supermoto so i'm really keen to uh, to get on that one as well that's another one i'm really looking forward to trying i want to get on the new ducati street fighter as well and compare that with the super duke 3 and the zh2 i've just heard that the launch of that has been cancelled so the launch of the of the well it has to be i mean italy's on lockdown isn't it and i think that was due next week so that's been cancelled thanks for watching guys it's really appreciated this year is going to be a good year i think what were the involvement with wheels the involvement with destination triumph there's all sorts of exciting stuff coming so stay tuned keep watching and I'll speak to you soon, guys. Thanks very much. Uh, which one do I cover? That one, no, that one, that that one. This is power level one, which is full power. It's <laughs> bad. <laughs> 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 What have you done here? <laughs> I told you I was scared back there. Whoa! I've never dropped a bike before in my life. Whoa! <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> Listen to me. Never mind getting beat up. Give me this any day of the week. <laughs> oh, shit.